actually um, in this video we're gonna buy a name chip domain and then set up a catch catch all, catch all emails and all domains to a Gmail account. So let's do this. I'm recording this video which is a request from my client and maybe it will benefit you guys that I that are not familiar in regards to managing name chip accounts. So let's go ahead and um, get started. Name chip course. So the client wants wants us to need to be able to log in first. And of course, if you're not yet um, a name chip customer, then you can of course. Um, do this in here. Search for your domain name. If you want to transfer, if you want to buy domain name, if you want multiple domains to to order, then just hit on that beast mode. And of course, you can just add all your domains here. So since our client wants um, ten domain names. Extensions, I've used the Pantheon, have my phone clients. And okay, let's try it out. Um, hmm, probably manually add this one. Uh, maybe it's out. Hmm. Let's try this one. It does. This is already um, taken. As you can see, it's already taken. So this one are not taken but this this is a premium one so we don't want this these are all taken as well so I think these are with this um light blue here these are all not taken so let's try let's try to count if it's 10 it counts two four six seven so we have um, we have remaining three to go. So let's add them, add them up here. Additional, additional layer. Um, what else? So now everything is available. So we can now um, add all to cart. Just press this button here. So let's view our item. So we have a total um, billing of eleven dollars point eighty. So let's go to checkout now. Let's see if there is anything else that are default charges when we um, add items in the cart. So let's see. So there's nothing else from. So let's just, uh, if you have a promo code here, you can, you can add that one. 
maybe I, I'll have mine in the description or else um, I'll just send you a link so you can you can, you can just check it out but just go to confirm order if you're satisfied with all the items here and of course if you haven't yet um, created an account do so here but in my case I've already have one then I'll just go to here and use my um, account password manager then here we have an icon key and secure payment you can pay through via card but we have this one here we have a payment method here that paypal they accept paypal as well and of course account funds i have an account fund already i added an a funding recently so I just select this one but if you want to pay by a card then you can use this or PayPal mm -hmm. you can use this as well but since I want to use this then this will be the one that I will be selecting so now let's select the the payment method that we will be using course if you have a different um, contact for for your billing address then you can add your contact here but if it's your domain just your domain and the, the contact details here are correct then you can you're good to go so let's continue on here so now it's time to pay this is this should be your final um excuse me items here free who free who is guard is a who is Security. Okay. Your your domain um wrapper. I'm not sure if that's a thing. I forgot. But it's something like let's see. I think it's here. Take a look at my own system, my own system. So I believe it's yeah, ID protection. It's an ID protection. They just um renamed it with their own brand, but it's just an ID protection. So that when you submitted or created an order, place an order or um registered a domain name, um this registrar here let's say namecheck or whatever they will cover it up for you so that um the public won't see your personal details like your email and everyone will spam you out further so that's the that's the reason and the idea of this one so it's really um it's really a bit important, especially if you're buying the names more often or frequently. So, just let's proceed with paying. <laughs> After we have paid that one, that, let's see. Just let it let let's let it load.